was raised in a legalistic background. Basically, faith and works combine equal salvation. Since then, I've come to Christ through faith alone. But Satan still whispers in my ear saying, well, the fruits of the Spirit, if manifested properly in the life of a Christian, could equate to works. And also, we have James 2.14, which says faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Can you please explain that a little bit to yeah, me? Yeah, the, the way to understand that, Don, is simply this. Works are not the means of your salvation, they are the result of it. I've, uh, I've said this recently in some other settings, uh, and I think I said it here when we were going through Galatians a few weeks ago, we are saved by faith and grace alone, but we will be judged by works. It's, it's, it's very clear we will be judged by works. In Romans chapter 2, we, we hear from the Apostle Paul clearly that God will judge us according to our works. So works are the manifestation of the transformation. They're not the reason for it. They're not the means of it. Ephesians 2, I think Ephesians 2, 8 to 10 is probably the best uh, portion to make that clear. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. You're saved by faith, that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But we are saved unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Uh, another way to look at it is God has saved a people who are zealous for good works. God has saved a people who are transformed, born again. And they're marked by good works. They're marked by both attitudinal fruit, love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control, and behavioral fruit. The fruit of their lips is praise. The fruit of their life is service. They use their spiritual gifts, gifted by the Holy Spirit. They're engaged in the one another's. They're, they seek to do ministry. They seek to proclaim the gospel. So uh, the, the difference is you can't count on any of that to save you. But you can be certain that if you have been saved, those works are going to follow. And that's what James is saying. Faith without works is dead because a true saving faith brings about new birth, transformation, regeneration, new life. And you heard twice tonight the quoting of 2 Corinthians 5.17, if any person's in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are gone and new things come. So. It's, it's a question of where you put the works. They're not the reason you're saved, but they are the manifestation of that transformation. As long as you understand that difference, you'll understand where works belong. And again, I remind all of you what you heard again tonight, and we hear it so often in baptism, I, I, I thought I was a Christian, I thought I was a Christian, but my life didn't show it, right? We heard that several times tonight, and that's pretty typical of almost every baptismal service. Even people being baptized, going to church, but what they love and what they desire and what they think and what they feel and what they say and what they do are not consistent with that, as we heard again tonight. And the difference is that you heard those people say, now my life has changed. I desire the Word of God. I desire Christian fellowship. I love the Lord. I want to do what honors Him. That, that's the evidence of that salvation by grace alone through faith alone. Okay. Thank you.